I'm Zach, and welcome to The Fall of Kingdoms, a game of strategy, intrigue, and social deduction for two to seven players. In this game, you're the ruler of your kingdom, armed with character cards, destiny cards, and six tactical actions. Your goal is simple, outsmart your opponents, destroying their kingdoms, and be the last one standing. Setting up is quick. Each player gets a kingdom, some character cards, destiny cards, and coins. Now, to destroy a kingdom, you must either bring its defense to zero or eliminate all of its character cards. On each of your turns, you have one minute to do the following three steps. First, you take coins based on your morale level. The higher the morale, the more coins you get, which opens up more possible actions. Then, you either remain silent or you negotiate now. You can join forces, manipulate others, or make threats. Either I kill you now, or you attack her for me. Deal. What? Finally, you perform one action. You can either take one of the six tactical actions, like accusing others and launching kingdom attacks, or you can use one of the six character abilities, of which you can bluff about. These actions allow you to attack others, build your defenses, and strengthen your kingdom. Continue taking turns and witness kingdoms fall, one by one. The beauty of the game lies in its intricate design. On one hand, you need to manage your resources and strengthen your kingdom. And on the other, you have to plot your attacks and negotiate deals. Combine that with the different personalities of the friends you play with. The game feels fresh every time. Oh, and beware of the destiny cards. The destiny cards are your secret weapons. They're actions and events known only to you that can alter the course of the game in heartbeats. Because of this, you can never be too sure who the winner is until the very last second. That's three kingdom attacks on one measly kingdom. You're done. You wish. Do you have what it takes?